Hello everyone, so I am going to film another video today. This is going to be my everyday makeup routine. Um, I really enjoyed filming the last one, so I thought, why not film another? Right, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to push my hair back with a um, headband. So I have prepped my skin already. I've already popped moisturiser and serum on if I'm looking over here because there is a mirror here. Um, but I am going to use this. This is the Nivea Daily Essentials 24 Hour Moisture and Express Primer. It's a gel cream. It's literally just like jelly. Um, and I don't always use this, but I, f I just feel like it gives me such like a, I don't know, a really, really nice, um, almost tacky, like, base for the product that we put on over it to just sort of stick. Um, I really, really like it. It's so cheap as well. So for brows, I'm going to use the Revolution Gel Pomade, I think it's called, uh, just on a angled brush. All I do is literally just follow the natural brow and then arch it up just a little bit on the corner. So I'm just using a concealer um, just to clean up the edges. Right, I just sort of dab that out if it's a little bit too harsh. Perfect, really, really love this. I'm just using a brow gel just to fluff them up a little bit. Um, this brow gel honestly lasts all day long. Um, I am going to move on to my skin. Um, as I said in my last video, if you've seen that, I don't wear foundation. Um, I literally just wear concealer, um, just sort of cover up any like scarring or blemishing, blemishing, blemishes, um, and then I obviously put them underneath my eyes because let me tell you, I've got some mighty old bags. I did have a sponge. Where's my sponge? There it is. Um, and then this, mm, it's not damp, but. It's still got a little bit of moisture in from the last time I used it. I'm just blending that in. Right, so I'm now gonna take the RCMA powder. I don't know why I'm looking in there. I'm now gonna take the RCMA powder and oh that's quite a lot pop some of that underneath my eye and then pushing it in as we go along so now i'm going to take the barium contour and bronze kit i literally use this every single day um i really love the color that it gives me and when this happens I don't even need to worry because it literally just blends out so nicely on the skin. So now I just go over that with a powder bronzer i use actually i'm not going to use that one i'm going to use this which is apparently seeing better days um sleek uh it's actually a contour kit but i like to just use it as a bronzer it's got contour blush and highlight in there um and i just to be honest i don't really do this for color i just do it to kind of set the powder um, the cream product because I just really like how it looks. Just using the blusher in that palette. It is such a pretty blusher. Put 
pop up my nose. And I just, I don't know, I go crazy with blusher. I don't really know why. I just really like that it sort of illuminates everywhere else. It makes you just look really nice and healthy, I think. I'm just using some um, banana powder. This just makes my under eyes really light and bright. Love it. So I'm actually going to take this. This is a liquid highlighter from Figs and Rouge um, in the shade Charm. Um, it's a really, really pretty pink. I just pop it on mm, a bit more on the back of my hand and then I literally just use the same sponge that we used before sort of really get it on the sponge and then just pop it on the tops of your cheeks oh my god I love highlighters so much it honestly just brings the whole look together I think um, sometimes I actually do get a little bit carried away and then end up looking like some kind of disco ball but you've got to embrace it you've got to make that skin look glowy pop it on the end of my nose the top of my nose basically everywhere just put it on now I'm going to move on to eyes with eyes I don't really use that much stuff to be honest um, I have got a Style London which I actually use one of these um, eyeshadow palettes in my last video but this is a lot more natural really like it though because it's got three matte shades um and six shimmers so i'm just going to take the lighter shade and the sort of caramel shade and then i just pop it all over my crease and then bring it down And then I pop the same colour, but I'm using this one instead of mixing them um, underneath my eye. Right, now for mascara, I'm going to use the Ico Black Magic Mascara Drama and Curl. This is just a little sample that I got in um, one of the glossy boxes. I've done glossy box for absolute years and honestly love them so much. You get so much good stuff in there for so little money. So good. Now I'm going to move on to lips, which is the final thing. Um, I normally have a lip liner, but I've lost it and I don't know where it's gone. So I normally use lip liner, but today I won't be. Um, I've got two lipsticks that I'm going to use and maybe a gloss. I'm not sure. I'm going to use um, Spirit from MAC and I'm going to use, if I can undo it, Honey Love, which both are very very loved lipsticks So I'm going to use a gloss, um, I'm going to use the Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss from Soap and Glory in Bare Enough. I absolutely love this. Just going to put a little bit on. I just feel like gloss makes a look really, really pretty and natural. Lovely. So that is the video. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you've got this far, be sure to let me know. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video. So I'll see you very soon.